why I put the 5.5 .5 rating system. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna get you here. Because, holy shit. I... I am ripped, dude. Ripped. Phew. What a beautiful day to smoke the marijuanas. Come out with nature. Sorry about this. My dog. Da, 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 da. I know anybody coming down the trail that way is walking through some fucking killer smoke. It's, it's, gee, I wonder if they'd suspect it was me. God, it's beautiful. Fucking beautiful. I'm going to put on a little speed there. I'm wandering around like an idiot. See, the weed kicks in, man. That's to me. But people were always like, dude, weed's like, doesn't move. I'm, I was always confused. As are millions and millions of other people who get stoned, get creative. God damn it. And then throw their fucking selfie stick into a river. Because it's not doing its job. I'm going to go buy a fucking new one. If I can afford that. But, uh, I'm one of the most highly motivated people in the world when I'm, I'm stoned. When I'm not stoned, I'm generally just kind of blah. Does that say there's something wrong with me? That I'm unmotivated naturally? Maybe. But I also know the body, not a scientist, disclaimer. Uh, I just gonna literally say I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Suck, I can see my own jokes coming. <coughs> oh. Shout out to 907. But today I checked and it is currently minus nine degrees. Greatest place in the world, huh? <laughs> All my Alaska friends are gonna start disowning me. As I rep 907. I promise you, I love you. I just think Alaska's more of like I don't know. This is like retirement, I guess. From living in a real place. I almost feel like I've gone to the future. We've got flying cars and people with no teeth. They've evolved past me to day. It's the next evolution of man. Always motivated. The higher I get, the more motivated I get. And then they brought in dabs. And dabs, dabs confuse my brain. Because my brain's like, go, go, go. But I don't know, man. I don't, I don't really feel it was necessary. But that's improvement. I just, it was different, you know? I love how old I am now. Back in my day. But back in my day, hash and shit was like a super special, awesome treat that you get. And it enhanced your experience as a pothead. I mean, if you're just doing dabs all the time, uh, I don't know. See, you gotta watch those pitfalls of getting older, man. You start catching yourself calling these goddamn kids. And I, I'm still a goddamn kid, aren't I? I mean, I mean my body doesn't know that, but I'm still well aware. Yeah. It's been a good week as far as the rheumatoid arthritis goes. Uh, I just want to mention that flare up diseases are fun. So I tend to focus on the fact, even when I'm in one, that I will be out of one. Hope. And one day maybe it just never goes away. I think I'm doing alright. Either that or I'm just getting used to the pain. Oh, Going into the darkness. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Shout out as always to Comedy and Kitsap for putting on such amazing shows. Um, really seems to be uh, timing is everything and I think I got here after Joe Rogers put in so many years of work, and I just step in and be like, man, you got your shit together. This is nice. You're running shows, doing benefits. Yeah, I want to be a part of that. I think that's how it works, all right? Anyways, I literally just described myself trying to suckle off Joe Rogers' tit. Damn it. Um, no, but I do want to work with that man. I don't know why. But it's just something there. Well, I think it's immediate. It's, it's, uh, I don't even think it's a comedy. That part is just who we are. But I think we both kind of have, he has way more vision. Like he's a way better big picture guy. Um, man, I couldn't tell you what I'm good at. Oh, talking. I'm good at talking a lot. 
we have a vision with the podcast stuff and all of that. And we're both like right on the fringe of being able to break through and actually properly use the media in the way it's supposed to be used. Did any of that make sense? I don't know. It will because it'll all be edited out if it doesn't. Or now I have to leave it in because I said that. God damn it, Dennis. A lot of work goes into editing. I'd like to thank the editing staff of uh, Diary Said Productions. Yeah, do a great job eventually. You lazy fuckers. And we're walking. This one always throws you on the road right here. Ah. Okay, so got to throw out some selfless, narcissistic, stylistic self-promotion. So, uh, I don't know if you know this or not, I also like to take pictures and I like to turn everything into the word rot. So if you could go to Facebook and check out my Facebook page at Rottography. Spelled exactly like you see it on the screen. Uh, it's just more like a kind of relaxing thing for me to do. I've kind of fallen out of it because, you know, life. But I'll get back into it and there's some cool pictures. There are actually some cool, cool shots in there, I think. Um, and then there is my rock cast, which is where all of this stemmed from, the original version. Um, you can find all that on YouTube at Rockcast. Uh, the original Rockcast features people in my lives I don't want to be part of anymore. So there is the Rockcast. Look at that. Dude, if you're watching this, you just now are going to get to see that picture later. And I think you're going to go. <coughs> um, let's go down here. Yeah, so I moved that into a playlist, which you can find all my stuff. Dinner for Dad, Rock Midi, which is my comedy. Uh... And the original uh, rock cast one, and some music videos that I've done throughout the years. That I've done. Anyways, uh, oh, look at this shit. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, there's now Rockcast 2.0, which will occasionally have some video interviews and stuff if I get a guest over. But I'm mostly running that one for the part, for the most part, off of Anchor FM, where you can, of course, listen to it. Shiva, look what you're doing, dude. I Beautiful. So yeah, and that you can find that shit on on uh, Spotify and all, a whole bunch of other platforms. And uh, that's called Rockcast 2.0. Because I am a new and trying to convince myself better version of the old me. I'm probably not. Probably not by any means. But the battle continues for the perfection of the lie. Steve Colvert. All right. Dickinson Creek Trail. About to enter back onto the main trail. But as that runner guy just went by, I mean, it's just these different levels of highly maintained shit, man. I can love it. Do, 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 do. It's just be so much more exciting. With the goddamn guests walking right here. I mean, I, I don't know. Shiva, what have you been up to lately, girl? For my Shiva fans. Fucking gorgeous. Well, I don't 
see a shit ton of people down there for the amount of cars that we see here. Well, it blows my mind. There's not just a hundred total people walking up and down this truck. Oh yeah, that's what we have. I like people. Oh, here's a cute little trail. Never seen before. Let me try that out. Stand corrected, there is lots of people down here. Oh no. Did not just do that. Okay, I thought I dropped my jet. Wow, this is fucking cool. Neat. How fucking neat. Well, I gave that up. Let's try to set up a nice still shot. Right, get out to walk away from the camera for a second. And that didn't work out, so just finish this joint on this cool little in the woods trail I found. Head back towards it. So. Terp slip. Num num num. start the day. You're free. And freedom is beautiful. And, uh, you know, it'll take time to restore chaos. Yeah, that was a good hike. Hope you guys enjoy this shit. I really do. It's cool to watch it. I have 200 subscribers to my channel, but that doesn't mean shit all. So I don't ever get comments, subscribes, or likes to the YouTube channel. So I just gotta start. How to branch that out. And I believe the way is by paying money for promotion. So, serious about it. So, I get it. So, So, I do a lot. Episode 26, I believe. Thank you for watching. We love you. Don't go insane. Stay sane.